everyone, Leo here, leader of the Zodiacs. And this is part three of the church investigation. If you want to see part two or part one, make sure to check out our last week's video so that way you can catch up. Alright, so let's get right into it. Alright. Ooh, that was a pain in my back, so I got back up here. Alright, so. I'm gonna hold this. Everyone's got a K2 on this a little bit. You, know, you got a camera. I'm gonna move that direction. I'm gonna tell me if you feel anything worse or if you feel all the Do you have the extra battery? Hey, we, we used it already. It drained it right away. I know. We're gonna have to go out on those at this point. This one is. We have another camera. Mm -hmm. We have another camera. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So if it dies, I mean, we'll just miss a couple minutes in between, but. You don't put that memory card inside of that camera, though. There's no memory card in that camera. I'm walking over here. It's dangerous for me, but I want to see if you're over here. church? Did you like standing in the back here watching the preacher talk up front? <coughs> You're right. Okay. Yeah. I'm getting spikes over here too, but when you started doing that. Really? I see one. You, are you part of a family that sit back in the back row? Well? Yeah. Is there a reason that you're talking to Michael, not me? Yeah. Do you trust him more? Yeah. Is it because he lives next door? Yeah. Are you comfortable with me watching over this place and watching over you, making sure you're safe? Less okay, but that seemed like it was okay. <laughs> I want to go ahead and say while you're talking to us right now that Michael will keep this place safe. He's already kept people away from here. He's kept people from coming in. He's kept this place. He protects this place. Just like Nathan. Nathan watches us from across the lane, and he protects this place as well. And he wants to build this place back so you have a place to stay if you wish to. And if not, you can be happy knowing that this place is under good care for those two people. There's a lot of things in this world. A lot of things that are scary, and they're willing to go above and beyond to make this place better. So Felicity can stand once more. Right now, Felicity needs all the help it can, and has two great people in this area right now protecting it and trying to make it better. Does that make you happy to hear? All the spikes is coming from that direction where the recorder is sitting at. Wait, what's that? Where the, where you put down the recorder, it's like all the spikes is coming from that direction now. Well, everyone turned away from me and got really creepy behind me. <laughs> um, but, talk to that direction. Are you a preacher? Are you standing up top right now, speaking to all of us? The deacon? Please tell me, what is it, a reverend, a deacon, a preacher? I saw a new old high school chill come from the left part of my ear. Left part? Yeah. I just walked over here. Why I feel it on my left hand. Do you feel 
other things will spend some of you all. Uh, it's basically quiet. This was a church. Are you still one with your God? I feel like something just tried to eject the key to that in my hand. Yeah, I said that I didn't feel comfy. <laughs> <laughs> Is that ring? I think it's from the roof. Yeah. Or the gutters. Yeah, it might be coming from the gutters. Because I've got a couple of metal going all the way down to its bottom. Mm -hmm. Do you not like us talking about God? Or I guess I should say his name in vain. Is that correct? You're uncomfortable with me saying that? Should I say more of them? Are you sure it's not in the bathroom? It's just going on too long. Whoa, 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 whoa. Went crazy. You said bathroom and it went crazy. Are you currently in the bathroom? Do you want us to go to the bathroom? Step us to the bathroom here in a second. So, one that's talking to Michael likes standing up front. The one talking to Nathan likes the bathroom. And we'll ask is it a good place to be? Is it a scary place to be? It feels like someone's trying to tug on that pain so. So should we go back there? Which direction? Yeah, what direction? Is it backwards? Is it near like the center where my left leg is, mm -hmm. but more like towards the back? And it feels like that way. Yeah, it's like kind of pulls into the direction where it happens. At. So is there something in the back that we should be looking for? Uh, they both went off. Oh, they're both going off now. The men's side, the female side. Okay. Is it a child? Is it a scared child? Yeah. Is it the child that comes to me upset and scared? Here that's been making and posing his nose to me in my house. 
if you are, can you give me a sign that you are? Can you come to me as a safe haven if you're scared or upset about something? number, can you indicate if that is your age? Are you four? Ooh, that was weird. Like someone just grabbed my leg. Are you five? Pay attention too. Are you six? Yes. Are you six years old? I just went off when he was saying six. Is there something or someone that's fighting you that you come to me as comfort? Could you tell me the advice? That was a reason for someone that's scaring you. You know that you don't have to be scared. I'm here to talk to you. Cody's here to talk to you. Roger and Nathan, they're here to talk to you as well. Feeling sad? Mm -hmm. Do you uh, scared or just sad? It's more like sad. It might realize that it can't find its parents, you know, because it it's where it's at. Are you lost? I'm starting to feel it too coming out of the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Blue, definitely like red or yellow, orange. Are you trying to find your parents? I know, I'm feeling the bugs too. Given what he needs to hear. I mean, not be nice. Yeah. Do you want me to say it? Yeah. Do you not want me to come in? Is it okay if I talk from this area, though? I want you to know that I have a child around that age as well. My child is six as well. Almost. I got a son that's five years old. Did you see how bright that went when you said that? We understand. We know. We also were five and six once as well. How it feels to be without your parents nearby. It's scary. You do. Go ahead. Do you? I'm gonna hold out my hand for you. 
I want you to hold my hand. So I know that you can be here and that you accept me to watch over you and protect you. you need to do. You do what you feel is best then. You can tell I want you to know that I'm always going to be here to protect you and watch over you. I'm not going to be going anywhere. Any time you need me, you're more than welcome to come and live in my house. I don't want you to know that you don't have to be scared and you don't have to be upset anymore. I want you to know that you're loved and cared. I kind of just feel like it feels better now. That was... This one all in high rate, but yet it feels like it's more uplifting. Yeah, I agree. I don't feel so sad anymore. Are you happy that I'm always going to be here to protect you and watch over you? Really? How do you feel? They can stay near us if they want to, but they have to be careful. Or well, if they feel safer, they can go back to your place until you get there if you need to as well. If you like, you can come with us. Or if you like, you can go with my house for the same. That's what he wants. <laughs> Alright. They're saying don't do that. So true as well. And you might want to take back what you said. <laughs> okay. Never mind about what I said. <laughs> I want to take a moment because we made light of a very serious situation. And we got lucky. Because this could have been bad. Really, really bad. You should never invite a spirit back to the house with you, or back with you in anywhere. Reason being is because there are dark spirits, even demons, that will manipulate you, make you feel like you're talking to something you can trust, motivate your actions. They can even change the conversation to make them feel like you can trust them. And that's when bad things can happen. And I take part responsibility because I felt what Michael was feeling. I felt like I was talking to a child, that he was trying to help him, and as an investigator, I can totally understand where he was coming from. But you should never, even an experienced hunter like us, should never do that. Because there are things out there that could really hurt you. There are some bypass laws that you can do it, but like I said, be experienced, and even then, you have to be cautious. Because these things can cause a lot of traumatic trauma. We got lucky because nothing followed us home and because we went back a little bit later and we closed it off. We said, you cannot follow us, you have to stay. We also told her that the family it's waiting on may not even be part of the land of the living anymore. And we talked and tried to get it to move on. But Michael being the investigator that he is and the strong one said that he will protect the place so it doesn't need to worry about staying there. 
it also might not have a choice because Michael's property basically is connected to this church. So if it already hasn't, it could be just roaming from one part to another already. So that might be why we got lucky. But you should still not take that chance. Remember guys, sage and cleanse yourself after every investigation because even if moments like this happen or even if not, that will disconnect any anchor that these things try and follow you. So please, cleanse yourself and be safe out there. And if you're worried, you can always call an investigator like us and we'll try and help you. Especially this time of night. Alright. Go do what you need to do. You stand by him. Um. Okay. Do you guys have a flashlight? No. Here. Yeah, it's totally. The temperature, the feeling, everything. You got your phone? But I want you to stay here. Let's see, night vision. The reason why I'm asking you to stay here is that even though I may not be in here, but I'll still be watching over and protecting you. Make sure you tell them that he's not allowed to come home. He has to stay here. I want you to know that you're not allowed to come home with me, that you have to stay here. But like I said, I will still watch over you and I will still protect you. Now. The what? I'm still I'm starting to get that sadness feeling again. Hey boys, when you get done out there, come over here. You good? I'm good here. Yeah. Now getting you might not know about that. We have footage of the room, so we know for sure where it is footage. But was that there before? If it was, I might not have noticed it. Right. It's strange, right? Yeah. There's a lot of kid drawings. Not a lot, but like four. Because that. Because what's funny is that when I was telling it to stay here that it wasn't allowed to come home, I started getting that sadness feeling again. Mm -hmm. Like it was wanting to come back with me, but right. knowing that he can't. It might be scary if something that is here, but until we get a better vibe of the place and go over footage, then we can think about it. But that's all on you at that point. Yeah. Yeah, I'd rather have it like stake in that we can find out more. Yeah. Because he said when he smelled that, when he walked out there, it smelled like sulfur. Yeah. And, yeah, and like I said, I know it got a little salt, but I mean, I thought it was, but I thought it might have been that somebody's so running more behind it. Like, I smell it as I stepped out there, and we know it's out there, so I thought maybe we need to fart it. I'm just trying to get that sulfur smell now, but... <laughs> okay. That's a nail. An iron nail. Rusted to hell. Just straight out. <laughs> um... There's one of those buggies. But... <coughs> so, you good? Yeah. Right? If you look... Roger! Oh. Oof. Fuck me, dude. So what? Are you? Okay. Yeah. In here? Yeah. Okay, just you? Like being a thing? I asked this for you, Fox. That's what I'm thinking, because he was having that issue before. Yeah, I do too. I'd... I just want to point out, this is a bird, right? This has like major teethage, like, like fang Yeah, quality. I see it now, see that? I can see like the teeth and the eye. I'm not, yep. I'm not touching the picture, I've already learned my mistakes from it. Let's try to see. There's, everything else just looks like sky. Like it's all like someone took a blue crown and went like this all over top of it to cover up the top pieces. 
Alright, well, I'm not liking the fan I'm getting. We need to get the fuck out. We're getting about, we're about to. We're about to. Yeah, I'm just making sure that all this is fine. You good? There's purple company. Yeah, the word's just about to. I'm just trying to conclude any information that we need beforehand before we get out of here. I'm not going to I think it's anything. We gotta go and say our goodbyes, but we can't just leave. It's like a well, I know that, but <laughs> listening, I want you to know that we have to go. We do appreciate your hospitality. We do appreciate the time that you gave us. Um, we hope we got some answers and we hope we can help you. I hope you know that we mean no harm. We're still friends here. Um, and we don't mean to have any harm. But please know that there are protectors here. Please stay where you are though. We do not wish for any of you to follow us. But do know that we are going to protect Everyone that we can, you know, help and everything. But if we, the things, we are here to help. I need to get out of here. I know. Let's get this done. Yeah. Right, thank you, everybody. Thank you for everything. We do have to go. We will speak to you again, most likely. And we'll see you again. Uh, for any of those who are wishing to cause harm upon the other spirits, anyone that comes here, if there's anything evil here, malicious intent, please go back from whence you came. You are not welcome here, nor are you welcome to follow us. Please go back from whence you came. If there's anything evil here, malicious intent, please go back from whence you came. You are not welcome here, nor are you welcome to follow us. Please go back from whence you came. So shall it be. And thank you all for your hospitality and your time. And I'll see you again soon. Best of time. Make sure to always close communication when talking to spirits, because you do not want them to follow you home, or worse. So remember, be polite, be confident, and make sure to get to the point quickly, and you'll do just fine. And with that, our Presbyterian Haunted Church series comes to a close. We do want to apologize, because we actually think we picked up more voices than what we put up on here. Because between the rain and the background noise, we weren't 100% guaranteed on those, so we didn't show them. Also with the orbs, there was so much dust and debris, we weren't sure what was an orb and what was dust, and we want to be confident on what we show you. But if you saw something, please add it in the comments below, and we'll make sure to make a video of it in the future. Also guys, I want to say thank you to Nathan for everything he's done, for all the awesome work and letting us come in and do the investigation. We hope that we get to do another investigation soon, so Nathan, if you're watching, please hit us up. Alright guys, make sure you subscribe, because we got a few more investigations coming up, and if you want to see a behind the scenes of this video we got a vlog showing everything that happened as we set everything up and of course some banter in there as well all right guys thank you for everything and i really appreciate you waiting on us we had a lot of issues so again there's actually an apology video that explains everything that went down and i'm sorry again just a heads up if you haven't seen it so thank you for everything and i deeply mean it i hope that you get to see our next one and please subscribe like follow comment all that fun stuff because again we're sticking around this time. Have fun, everyone, and be safe out there. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, everyone. Failure ain't an option, so I'd be cautious. I hope that you're watching. Don't try to stop this. Work until I'm nauseous, because I will not quit. No, because I want this. Don't try to stop me. Failure ain't an option, so I'd be cautious. I hope that you're watching. Don't try to stop this. Work